I have a social media post this morning I wanted to elaborate on on this particular meditation. I wrote, uh, you are greater than your baggage. Your mistakes, mess ups, and blunders shouldn't define your life. Each day affords you a clean slate. Make the most of each new moment that you now possess. Stop mentally replaying events and moments that you've already paid dearly for. Learn lessons from your past mistakes, but don't be defined by your past mistakes. If I was to get, if I were to give this a, this particular meditation a title, I would call it "Living Above Your Baggage." It's so important that all of us have things in our past that we regret. We have regrets. We have some things that we wish we wouldn't done, wouldn't have done, or things that we wish we would have done. And all of us have some things uh, that's called baggage, things that we're not proud of. But you can't keep carrying around baggage. Uh, and your baggage may follow you. You know, I was telling someone, we live in the age of the background check. And so many people in different areas of their life, they may fear the background checks. And in our litigious society, uh, background checks are, are necessary for almost anything. But I want to submit to you, child of God, that you may be subject to the background check, but don't be defined by the background check. You are not who you used to be. Generally, most of us have evolved. We've become better. We've learned from our mistakes. I have a friend that had a felony conviction uh, that was becoming, uh, aiming to become a licensed in an industry that's highly regulated. And, you know, he had to go before a state board. And the state board brought up something, a felony from his record from 20 years back in the past. He said, I understand you all's concern, but he said, that person, I don't even know who that person is anymore. I'm totally new. They passed him with flying colors. You can't keep paying for an old mistake. In 2015, uh, you shouldn't be spending laborious hours trying to apologize for something that you did in 1987. You can't keep being defined by your mistakes. Even in scriptures, there are so many times in scripture that people were, were defined by their problem or their handicap or their mistake or their past history. The man with the withered hand, the impotent man at the pool of Bethesda. Uh, the leprous man, the woman with the issue of blood. Some of us are known by our issues. You're known for your problems, but don't be defined by your problem. Yeah, you did it. They saw it. They knew it. They got proof that you did it, but you got to evolve past it and live above it. You can't be, uh, can't be subject to every mistake that you've made, every hiccup that you've done, the things that you did in the midnight hour that you regret, but it's over. You've paid for it. You've been through life's toll booth. Life has taken its toll for your mistake. Don't stay, uh, stay trapped by your baggage. Uh, I, and I don't care. Don't be defined by your mistake. Uh, don't be defined by the bankruptcy, the foreclosure, the repossession, the uh, divorce, the felony conviction, uh, the history of uh, tolerating domestic abuse or, or uh, uh, an extramarital situation. Don't be defined by your past mistakes. The enemy wants to keep you in bondage by letting you know all the baggage that you're carrying. But, you know, it's hard to fly, it's hard to soar in life when you're carrying so much baggage. The next time the enemy brings you all the horrible things about your past, remind him about all the horrible things about you, his future. Look, don't be defined by the mistakes of your past. It is possible, my brother, it is possible, my sister, to live above your baggage. You are greater than what you used to be. You are greater than your past mistakes. Uh, I, I was just your mistakes, your mess ups shouldn't define you. Your blunders shouldn't define you. Every day you're born with a 
brand new clean slate, a new reality. Start walking towards those. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching for those things which are before. Keep pressing towards the mark for the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Make the mo most of every moment that you now possess. Stop playing instant replays over and over again of mistakes that you've already paid the price for. Learn lessons by, from your mistakes, but don't ever be defined by your mistakes. And it is possible to live above your baggage. God bless you, my brother. God bless you, my sister. The baggage shouldn't define you. You can go higher. You got to let some of the weight. Uh, I was just thinking about as a plane at, does its takeoff or a rocket does its takeoff, the rocket can't go higher until it releases some weights that it initially took off with. Maybe that's the story why you haven't gone higher. You've been limited by the baggage that you've been carrying throughout your life. But I come with good gospel news, talking to you directly, my brother and my sister. No one has to see you liking this. You don't have to like it or, or, or let people know that you responded to it. But I'm talking to you in, inside, on the inside, in your secret place, that you can live above your baggage. No matter how horrible the experience was, God's giving you a brand new slate, and you don't have to be limited by the baggage or the horrible past that you've dealt with. God bless you.